Hi, uh, you all right? Well, here's a video that absolutely no one asked for, but I'm going to give it you anyway. So you're going to spend the day with me as I do normal people things and then go to a content creator party. That's me doing my makeup to create some content before I went. I went to the gym in the morning. There's my bicep for you. And then on my way to London, I was with my fake hair in. I was really late for the train. So this is me running. And I got to the platform. Literally, as my train was pulling up, I was a very lucky girl. I was very stressed. So um, I chugged some water, cheeky wink, and uh, I edited some content on the train. This is what my phone sees whilst I'm editing. Got to London. And obviously, you go to King's Cross, you've got to go to Platform 9 and 3 quarters. So I went to go and see my little Slytherin House Pride, Honey Jukes, and then set off for my venue. I actually went to buy some jewellery before I went to it because I forgot to put any jewellery on and my outfit was just basic. Here's me enjoying a mocktail and I'm going to cheeky sing along. We were at a cabaret club called The Windmill in Soho for the Disney Plus Welcome to Chippendale launch. Two stars of the series, Kamel Nanjiani and Murray Bartley. There you go, the crisscross. We got to see Jordan Banjo and Perry Keeley and Kamel Nanjiani and Murray Bartlett from the series. And it was dance with Patrick and Sarah to some Abba. And then we um, watched the performance of some of the Chippendales and um, I'm not going to say a lot but I am going to say that these blokes would be a nightmare for health and safety on an actual building site wouldn't they? Look at them swinging their mamas about and then we had these lovely cowboys I felt like I was watching an X-rated version of Toy Story Oh look, there's Jordan and Perry again I'm not going to lie, I did harass them for a selfie Then it was time for another performance and oh my god, actually look how sick it is in here That guy did a backflip and I was well impressed because I can't do a backflip but then it was time for me to head back, so uh, me and my stolen bow tie got the tube back to King's Cross, took my trainers off, because, I mean, my feet were killing, and um, I got on the train, I paid for the quiet coach, and that idiot over there was sat on speaker to somebody the whole way home, so I just cried into my Maltesers, got back to Doncaster train station, and um, it took me ages to find my car. Look how sad I look, just carrying my array of things. I don't know what this noise is. My feet were really hurting me at this point, so I was really looking forward to getting back to my car. It did actually take me about 10-15 minutes to find. And then I got home and took my hair extensions out. Oh, you had fun.